Rest Grant and to Susan Marie Strobing, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. As Susan Marie Strobing was baptized into her death and resurrection, so we sprinkle her body with holy water to call to mind the promise of eternal life she received from the Lord. our baptism, we were clothed with Christ and received the pure and spotless garment as new creations cleansed of our sins. We return to Sue this morning her baptismal garment to present to the Lord when she meets him face to face. servant Sue, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again to him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the first reading. Here comes Roger to proclaim the first reading which is taken from the Book of Wisdom. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. <clears throat> the souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for in the eyes of men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace he proved them. And as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. Those who trust in him shall understand truth. And the faithful shall abide with him in love. Because grace and mercy are with his holy ones. And his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
comes Jim Strobe to proclaim the second reading, which is taken from the Toxic Paul to Corinthians. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is you, is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Therefore, we are not discouraged. Rather, although our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to what is seen, but what is unseen. For what is seen is transitory, but what is unseen is eternal. For we know that if our earthly dwelling, a tent, should be destroyed, we have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven. The word of the Lord. Saint John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go, and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. On behalf of St. John Congregation. I extend my sympathy, condolences, prayerful support, and a spiritual solidarity to each and every one of you. At the age of 68, when someone passes away, it's hard. We are not ready to say goodbye because this is not the age to pass, to leave from us. 
no one can give us the right words no one can give us the comfort loss is heavy and i know especially all the siblings of so go through the same difficult times right now because we are struggling to find comfort from one another we are here this morning to come to the lord who says i am the way i am the life and i am the resurrection these words give us comfort because god alone can fill our hearts with the joy with the faith with the comfort that's why we all come here in any funeral especially in today's funeral this burning light easter candle is the rich symbol which speaks to all our hearts about our future about the plan of god about what happens after we leave from here and as you know every time when we have the baptism which is the beginning of christian life and the funeral mass which is the end of christian life we used to light the easter candle because it symbolizes that christ is present not only at this time even you pass from this world i am be i am there with you she is not alone this is what in today's gospel we come to know when jesus is saying i am going and going to prepare a place for you and he says once i prepare a place for you i come back again to take to myself so that where i am you also may be it's a very powerful promise from our living god wherever we live here whether here or there we are with the lord and that's why we want to hear those promising words from the word of god that's what we see in today's first reading the souls of the just the soul of soul is in the hand of god so we take comfort today knowing Yes Lord even though she is gone from our sight we truly believe that she is living with you in you her soul is there and you created her you formed her even before she was born even even from the time of her conception in her mother's womb you called her to be something and she was a treasure to us to the world and she did all wonderful things all through her life lord we truly believe that it was your design and i say i was reading the whole obituary that what you wrote about uh, uh, sue i was so impressed this lady this woman loved everything loved her career and because of her career she was able to bring friends make friends that is something which is beyond that anyone can expect and she loved her family and she loved her pets so that means love was a kind of uh, driving energy force driving force for her the love that's what we see in the whole scripture from the first page till the and the last page of the scripture is about god's love god is love and love is god and that's what saint paul writes to the corinthian second letter 13th chapter we see that he write he writes everything and finally he concludes if there is no love everything becomes waste and this wonderful lady woman beautiful woman she loved everything and she proved that yes lord love is something 
that we all are supposed to to be loud and to love others. If you have such a woman like that, no one wants to leave. No one, no one is ready to say goodbye. We want to have that relationship, that people, to live for long years. But at the age of 68, something happened. She had to leave. As I was reading the obituary, a beautifully you have written here, and it really that drew me, that really captured my attention, that you all were so looking forward to her retirement and returned to Wisconsin and told to make this as her summer home. But God's plan was different. We continue to live in that faith knowing God had a different plan. I truly appreciate because our faith begins from that point. Our faith. Yes, we are ready to say goodbye. But that should not separate us from the love of God. Still, we say, Lord, all these 68 years, yes, you had preserved her from all harm. We wanted to have her for some more years, knowing that she was battling with some kind of health issues, but now we come to believe that your plan is better than us. And you know what needs to be done. But we believe that she is right there, enjoying the peace, no suffering, full of joy, full of comfort. And we also believe that she would pray for all our family members from above. And she will intercede for us to you so that we treasure her love, her faith, her joy to our hearts. And we will share the same joy with others as well. That's why this morning we are here. Even though it is sad to say goodbye, but also we thank the Lord. That's why we say the word, we celebrate the life of Sue today. It's a celebration, yes. Our faith tells us when we leave this world, we are born somewhere. It's not the end of life. Actually, it's the beginning of new life. It looks like Good Friday for all of us. It looks like Good Friday, where we feel that we are disconnected where we feel that we are abandoned, where we feel our life looks like a tunnel. But remember, remember, that is the day in which we celebrate the resurrection. End of the tunnel is light, bright light. Today you may see as Good Friday, but trust in God. That's what Jesus is saying today, encouraging us. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. Because Jesus is the one who rose from the dead, changed the Good Friday forever into the life of resurrection. And today we are called to celebrate the life of so and say goodbye. Yes, so one day we will meet again to continue our joy, to continue our celebration. And till then, we will treasure all your wonderful words of joy, comfort, the smile, that what you spread, the love to everyone, that was contagious, that she spread. And we will treasure all those wonderful things until we meet you again in the paradise. And this candle, Easter candle, reminds us, yes, so 
you are with me. Since you died with me, you will share in the resurrection. Jesus gives us this promise to so today. Let us believe his words and let us take comfort from the word of God and tell, say to so, yes so, it is time for you to leave us. Maybe it's from our sight, but not from our faith. And we believe that you are living in God and we will meet soon. Let us offer this Holy Mass, believing that God will open the gates of paradise to soul, where she will see God face to face and enjoy his presence and continue praying for all the family members of Strolik. This time I invite uh, Raja to pray the prayer of the faithful. Please stand. <laughs> church that we be a community of compassion comforting broken-hearted giving hope and aid to those suffering in need we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. guide the nations through world cooperation and harmony that they may put an end to war violence and to secure peace for all their citizens. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For physicians, nurses, and all who work to foster life and healing of the sick, strengthen and sustain them. Improve their skills to give compassion and needed aid to the suffering. During this difficult time, protect health care workers and first responders and grant a speedy end to the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead Sue to the joys of your heavenly kingdom and grant that all the departed will be welcomed by the Lord into that place of eternal light happiness and peace we pray to the lord lord, lord hear our prayer. god of all consolation help us to comfort one another in our grief finding light in time of darkness and faith in time of doubt we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all of us assembled today in prayer whether in person or in spirit, be gathered together again one day in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the prayer of those who cry to you benefit the souls of your servants, O Lord. Free them, we pray, from all their sins and make them shares in your resurrection <coughs> and resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the presentation of the gifts. Here comes Murray and the king to the gifts.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Put out the earth, Lord, from your human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Put out the wine, Lord, from your human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of His name, for our good and Church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Sue, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful, so, Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for her in heaven. And so, with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the foes and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Mm -hmm. so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <coughs> We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. 
grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph and spouse, with your blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, especially our patron saint John, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gerald, our Bishop, the Art of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Sue Strobe, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without the end, through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Vesalius command, let's all pray together. Please stand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And in this is not our temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Give our causes peace, I leave you my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us sign our peace.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Sue Strobing may come to be the eternal faith of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Sue. And now we come to the last parable. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Sue again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ, who is life, will, and the resurrection. 